friends, hi family, hi people of the internet. My name is Mia and I am going to be doing a Easter decorating video today. We are going to decorate my kitchen with just a few touches of Easter decor. I will be hosting Easter in my home, which is just a few short weeks away. So I thought I would go ahead and make a video. It has been since before Christmas that I last made a video. So I thought, why not? Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, we are looking at an overview of the decor pieces I think I'm going to use in the kitchen today. Now, it is a very small kitchen, so I can't put a lot of decor out because I just don't have the space and the counter space to do that. Um, you're looking at an undecorated room right now. I basically took everything out, and we've just got very plain countertops and windowsill nothing at the coffee bar so we're gonna start there here we go i am just going to ground everything with this tray i got a long time ago um and then i like to keep a lamp in this corner i just like the ambiance of a little lamp in the kitchen and so i'm gonna put it on a little riser to, just to kind of lift it up because it's very small and then of course we have basic necessities such as sugar i like this i don't really like this chocolate cream but i got it so that's what i'm using right now and i love the milk frother that i got it's like the best thing i ever bought at target for 6.99 best 6.99 ever spent um i've got some cinnamon i'm going to add the little Easter greeting sign and a little bunny rabbit. The Easter greeting sign is from Hobby Lobby and the little bunny rabbit is from Target Dollar Spot, I believe last year or the year before. Little ceramic bunny. And then I got that last year as well from Hobby Lobby on the 90% off clearance. And it's just gonna sit there to decorate that little area. All right, on to the windowsill. I love decorating the win windowsill. And right now I'm putting this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a wooden shallow bowl. And I'm using the top of a cake stand to put over the top of it. Um, I'm making kind of like a little bird's nest in there using this brown shredded paper. Um, I got the brown shredded paper at Target. I think they pretty much have it anywhere. I saw it at Michael's. I've seen it at Five Below. I've seen it a lot of places. Um, and then I'm going to put some little eggs. They're kind of like pastel eggs with like a gold leaf look on top of them. Those I also got for 90% off last year at Hobby Lobby after Easter. I love getting things on clearance at the end of a season for really, really super cheap and then just storing it away until the next year and then getting out and being like, whoa, I forgot I bought that and getting really excited about it. So that's just going to sit there. Now on the windowsill, I like to put real plants and real flowers. So probably in the next week or so, I will get some real tulips or hyacinth or some other flowers to put in the windowsill. I think that'd be really beautiful. Um, over here, I'm going to decorate with this wire basket. I got the wire basket at a thrift store, which thrift stores are pretty much my favorite place to shop. And then I put a piece of wood in the bottom to stabilize it so I could put decor on it. That Easter greeting sign I got at the Dollar Tree. So that was only $1. I kind of like the look of a cutting board um, in the back, but I like the this because it kind of like was the size of a cutting board and had the wood look but it also had the Easter decor on it and then I put this little bunny that my aunt gave me in there um, a little bowl that says blessed that my mom gave me and some more of those pastel and gold Easter eggs that I got last year that matched the ones over there in the um, cake cloche 
I will be adding later in the video, I after I did this part, I decided to add some more of that brown shredded paper in there as well, which you'll see at the end of the video how that turned out. Okay, for the stove area, it's super simple. A little Easter Bunny statue right there in front of where I keep my salt and pepper shaker. So nothing really major over here. Just really simple because I do use all of those burners on a regular basis. Now over here, I've added my, um, well, it's a magnetic rack. I see, I know that a lot of people put these on like the side of their island, but um, I found a magnetic one. So it works really well over here on the side of my refrigerator. So I added um, a hanging basket and some greenery. And then to make it a little more Eastery, I'm adding some, just some plastic eggs in there. And so, um, yeah, I like how it turned out. Moving right along to the tabletop, I have put a uh, runner. It's a cream colored runner with um, a lot of fringe on it. And then I added a cutting board and it has kind of a palm tree pattern. My um, a little sign, my Redeemer lives. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I wanted to put a little bit of the true meaning of Easter. Um, the resurrection of Jesus Christ into my centerpiece. I've also um, put a candle. I really like the pink color. It's from Bath and Body Works. And another ceramic bunny, like the one on my coffee stand. And so, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the Easter decor in the kitchen is just pretty subtle. It's not too much. I didn't want to go over the top with it. And so I kept it pretty simple.
Well, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see some more videos. I will tell you that my next video is going to be somewhat surprising. I will put it that way. It will not be like these previous videos I have made. It's something just a little bit different, a little bit more crafty, if you will. So I hope you'll consider coming back to check that out. And you all have a blessed and wonderful Easter. Oh.